superheroes like me do like uh, fighting and beating stuff up oh, in video games. <laughs> Not in real life. <laughs> Not like I even go outside. But anyways, if you if you like that stuff, I definitely think you will like Marvel Strike Force. Yes, this is a sponsored video, but stick with me. Trust me, I think you guys will enjoy this one just like I do. But seriously, I love all things superheroes. Like, actually, TV shows, movies, comic books, games, of course, too. And Marvel has some of the best superheroes and villains. And of course, all of them are in this game. Now look, stick around. I'm going to show you the ropes of Marvel Strike Force. Why I've been playing it every day. Why I think it's so fun. Uh, and I just keep logging back in, even though I don't need to. I mean, seriously, and of course, like, in every sponsor video, the sponsor tells you, hey, you know, can you get familiar with our game, you know, kind of, before you play it? And, uh, I think I went a little bit further than that, because, look, in the achievement section, you can see how many days in a row I've been logging in on uh, 27 consecutive days in a row in this game. I don't need to be doing that. All right, Corey, but just because you log in doesn't mean you're playing the game. Okay, well, take a look at my screen time. 13, almost 14 hours, and this is just in the past five days, including today, for how much I've been playing Marvel Strike Force. Yeah, I've been playing it a lot. Now look, what is Marvel Strike Force? Okay, to be real with you, Marvel Strike Force is a team collector. You collect heroes and villains that work well together and you create different teams. I'm just going to go ahead and scroll through the total list of characters available for you. You will see not only the ones I have unlocked and the level they're at, but there are a ton of different characters. I mean, if you can think of anyone in Marvel, I guarantee you they are in this game. Like seriously, there are a ton of different characters to unlock. Now, some of these characters get unlocked in different ways, right? Just like in any game, there's going to be offers and you can buy. You'll see they sort of, uh, a lot of times they'll offer you uh, characters who are together in a team. All these different characters on the X-Men team will give each other benefits and boosts. Now, technically, you can use any character with any character. It, they don't have to you know, have synergies for each other. But for example, one of the best beginner teams is Wave 1 Avenger team. You see, I got Captain America, works really well with Iron Man. Like for example, you go ahead, first of all, you click on any uh, hero or villain, all of them are going to have three abilities and one passive, unless they are a minion, in which case, like Shield Assault, they'll have two abilities and one passive. The bottom one is the passive. Now, for example, Wave 1 Avengers here, you see Captain America, right? One big thing, on death of any Wave 1 Avenger, he'll heal all allies for 10% health, and he also gets plus 20 block percentage if someone attacks him, per Avenger ally. So with these sort of things in mind, you want to go ahead and look at the different abilities that each hero or villain has to try to see what ones work well together. Now, as far as how to make your team stronger, you'll notice a couple different things. One, you'll see there are six places to put equipment which you can have to make your character stronger. Now, this is going to be one of the main ways you're going to make your hero stronger. And one of the easier ways to make them stronger, you go and you do campaign missions which give you different item drops and you can use them to craft and gain. See, I got damage, focus, and resistance there to make my character stronger. Now, the other way to make your character stronger is by getting more stars. You can get more gold stars, which you will find in the bottom right-hand corner, zero out of 130. Uh, you gotta get more duplicate copies of this character. Now, Shield Assault, for example, every single day, I go ahead, there's a campaign mission here, which I go ahead and fight. If you've three-starred the mission, you can auto-win it, takes two seconds, Boom, I just got four more of this character. I do that every day. Now that gives you gold stars. But what about the red stars? The red stars are actually a lot more important. Although you need the gold stars first for the red stars to be active. But once you get those red stars, they give massive, massive bonuses. You'll see here, one red star, 5% extra stats for every single type of stat you have. Two red stars, 10%, you etc. See, it goes up. The more red stars you have, the better. And of course, to get the red stars, you just go in the shop here. There's a little section just for that. Now, the only other way to make your character stronger, you can upgrade their abilities. You'll see for Iron Man, he's got level five, level five, level four, level three for his abilities. I can actually upgrade them every single time. Each upgrade, of course, has a different cost, as you would expect. Now, if you're wondering about the currencies in this game, you'll see a couple things. Gold is going to be a scarce resource eventually. I'm, 
in my opinion, that feels like the most scarce resource. Obviously, there's 150 different characters, so you're not really going to be able to level up every single one, but you will be able to level up a ton of them. It would be kind of crazy to have 150 characters easy to level up, to be real. But there's a ton of characters, and you can level up a lot of them. But the choice is how many do you want to up? Now, otherwise, there's power cores, which personally, I use all of my power cores to gain more energy every day here. After you go ahead and use that, I, you can see it costs me 50 power cores for another 120 campaign energy. I do this until it costs 100 power cores. Now I stop. I don't do it anymore. Why do I spend my power cores this way? Well, I actually get free power cores every day through the arena. What is the arena? Well, first off, for the rewards, you can see I get 150 free power cores from being in the top 100. The players in your arena will vary based on when you start the game. So for me, you know, I'm not like top 100 in the world. I'm just like top 100 in, I don't know how many people, but whoever started playing around the same time as me. Now, basically arena is a fight, is a team versus team fight. You pit your team. See, this is my current team right here. I got wave one Avengers uh, plus random shield assault because he's good and uh, War Machine. So this is my team. I go ahead in the arena and I can pick a team to fight that I think I can beat here, um, which I'll go ahead and show you. But I first want to show you some other things. So that's an easy way to get free stuff. Now, three other places I spend a lot of my time in is Blitz, Alliance War, and Alliance Raids. But first, I want to talk about the most beginner thing because you need to do it is the campaign. I'm not going to go through the campaign, but basically I advise you go like advance in the campaign as much as you can whenever you can, because it will allow you to unlock different um, or harder campaign levels, which will give you better drops. Essentially, you'll get more gold, you'll get better items, better characters as you progress. Oh, I wasn't expecting this to happen right away, but I actually just leveled up to 84 as I was finishing off my energy. Every time you level up, you get a bunch of free rewards which is always very nice. So, and I actually been saving up some rewards for you guys. Um, so I'll show you that as well. I was trying to get this equipment here for Mordo. All right, so I was able to get all of those pieces and he's got extra damage, extra focus. And also one thing you get every day are the daily objectives. You'll see like complete two battles in the arena and you'll get free different rewards, complete villain missions, hero missions, just finish 10 in general, auto win three missions, equip something. And these are all incredibly easy. These can take you maybe 10 minutes every day just to get a bunch of free rewards if you want. I mean, but who doesn't want free rewards, right? By the way, if you guys are downloading this game, please use my link below because it greatly helps me out. So thank you for using the download link below. And also I'm really excited to get to level 54 because actually it allows me to put the final piece of equipment on some of these characters like I was talking about. So here we go, Captain America, he got the last piece in his tier nine here. So now look at this crazy stat boost I got. You see my health went up by a ton, damage went up, everything goes up, power level went up by about 700. And boom, that finishes up my last daily objective which was training someone and there we go. Also, I got another achievement. Oh, an achievement for reaching player level 54. All right, that's actually really exciting. All right, I have all these rewards I want to open up. I'm going to save these till after I show you the most fun things. Blitz is probably the most fun thing uh, so far for me. I think Alliance War will become the most fun thing for me as I get to a higher level. But Raid is also crazy fun. So Raid is something you can do every single day. You have energy specifically for Raid. And the best part of a raid is definitely the rewards. Now here we are in the raid and you're gonna see there are all these different uh, areas you have to complete, sort of. is It's a little, honestly, it's a little confusing when you first look at it, but once you play it, it's really obvious. So everyone in your alliance will join a team and basically you're trying to progress through the raid. As a team, as a alliance, you're trying to beat as many levels as possible. So each person is solo. Uh, so for example, here's a boss level. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna fight this boss and this is gonna be a good time to show you more about how this game works. All right, so here we are in a fight. Here are my five characters. I'm on Captain America. His first ability uh, does a little bit of damage with the potential for gaining defense up, and his third ability can remove positive effects that enemies have and hit multiple people. It's the first turn, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, deal some damage, much damage as possible. Now I'm on my medic. Obviously, my medic is not gonna have good damage, but she can apply offense down. She can make someone deal less damage, so I'm gonna target someone who I think might be good at dealing damage and uh, try and reduce it. Now I'm on Iron Man. I love his middle ability, but you'll see it's on cooldown because recently I used it. So now I gotta wait three more turns. I need three more energy unless Captain America can give me energy, which you'll see he will do. Now this, his third ability just does a ton of damage to one person. 
Unfortunately, the target has defense up, but I had to attack them because they have taunt on. Anyone who is taunting means uh, you have to attack the person who is taunting, unless you have a way around it. For example, here we are on Shield Assault. Shield Assault hits everyone with this attack. Also, potential to remove a positive effect. Doesn't look like that happened, but that's one way to like avoid taunt. Oh, okay, so here we are on Thor. You'll notice there is a lock. Someone did ability block on Thor, so I can only use my first ability this turn, uh, which is unfortunate, but it's fine. Oh, there did ability block on him again. Also, there's a heal block on him, so I can't heal him. All right, so Captain America is a very defensive uh, person usually, so this allows me to taunt, give my allies defense up, and give them energy. To me, it's really good. So, Thor, what happened there? Thor has a special ability where if you hit wave one Avenger allies, he gets angry, and eventually he throws the hammer down. And that's basically what just happened there. I'd love to heal, honestly, I'm on my medic, but I have heal block on still, so I'm gonna wait uh, until that heal block is gone. Although it says there's two turns on it, so that might be a while. All right, back on Thor. Let's take out Yondu there. Um, all right, shield assault. This just does area damage. Shield assault is good, in my opinion, because of area damage. Um, I like shield assault. It doesn't exactly fit 100%, but basically you just do this, go back and forth, it's turn by turn, and this is where it is very much about the team you have, because everyone complements each other, or that's the goal here. Shield Medic going to heal up some. And you also notice I have it on three times speed. You can change that to one times. And there's also an auto button, so I can just go ahead and press this, and the computer will just go ahead and do everything for me. Now, I don't usually like doing that in raids, um, but it can be good for campaign. All right, so see, that just was 10 energy right there. It gave me some rewards, um, and I can keep on going. I have enough energy to do two more raids. Um, and then eventually I'll get enough for a third. Now another really, really fun area for me is Blitz, which is very similar to Arena, but the rewards uh, are pretty different. It's another place where you, again, you're basically doing team versus team fighting uh, against other people. Now there, I actually like this matchup here, so you can, you know, choose what opponent you want to face. If you don't like any of these, you can wait like 30 seconds and some new opponents will appear. I really like this matchup actually, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this opponent. All right, so here we go. And in my opinion, in raids, or sorry, in uh, arena in blitz, I don't like having a healer because they tend to be short fights and healers don't do much damage and they don't heal a ton, but they're great for like longevity, which is like good for campaign and good for raids. But in arena and blitz, I don't like healers. All right, so I'm gonna do area damage here. Go ahead. Now, part of the reason I really like Blitz is because you do have this where you have to try to figure out who do you want to attack and what matchups are good for you. And another really good part of Blitz, uh, I'll show you after this. And man, that's why I like War Machine is when he gets enough energy, he just mows through the whole enemy team. All right, so for example, I know I won this, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this on auto now and just let the computer do the rest. Boom, victory, I get extra rewards. I reached a milestone, so I'm actually at milestone 20, which makes it a little bit harder to show off blitz but there's every single place you'll notice there are different sort of rewards there's a, there's rewards everywhere it's easy to get free rewards all the time but one of the reasons i really like blitz is it's not dependent on just your strongest team arena you need to use your strongest team in blitz you don't it's gonna match opponents that have a similar power level to you so if i go to another team i have saved um so here's a mercenary team right i really like this team it's pretty good you'll see it matches me to opponents that have a very similar power level. The other place that's really fun is Alliance War. Now in this place, it's really important to coordinate with your Alliance here. And it's Alliance versus Alliance. Um, now the goal here in Alliance War is there are all these different sections of like an Alliance ship, I guess you could say, an enemy ship. You're raiding the ship, so to speak. You want to take it out. All right, so here you are, Flight Deck 2. If we take out every single section on Flight Deck 2, we'll get 50 points. But there's a problem. The enemy team put up an incredibly strong team to defend with, so unless we take out this last team, we don't get the 50 points. And this team is more than twice as strong as my strongest team. So I'm not gonna be able to take it out. Hopefully someone else on my team can, but I'm not sure. So for example, if we go to a different section here, you'll notice a couple of different things. One, the teams are totally different. You know, you can set up a defense for what teams, you know, you want to defend your alliance. And you also see there's a red X on that, 
which is because someone attacked it and failed, but they killed that unit. All right, let's go ahead. Let's open up some of my rewards. And by the way, you'll see here in the milestones, this is a really good section to earn free rewards. Oh, also one important area I didn't show is challenges, which is another way to earn free stuff. Different challenges will appear on different days and certain challenges have specific, like will only allow you to use certain characters. So pretty sure on this one, uh, I can only use brawlers and support, which for example, this is the team I ended up using totally different team um, because only brawler support is allowed. But this is a really good way to earn free rewards. And once you three star, you can just auto win. So I've three starred these. So I'm just going to auto win and boom, I'm getting a ton of free gold and other stuff. But all right, let's do a huge opening or at least uh, a decent opening here. A lot of like, I saved up a lot of my free rewards. Let me know though, if you want me to do a huge opening. Oh, 15 medic. That's so good. Let me know if you want me to do a huge opening of paid orders because I will do it. So you understand dude, 15. Okay. That's really good. These are good openings so far here. Um, wait a minute. All right. Yeah. We're opening premium orders. Okay. This is, a, this is nice. This is nice. I don't really use shield operative, so that's a bit of a bummer. But it, you know what? Eventually, I shield operative will be useful for war uh, and in blitz. So I don't totally mind. But okay, we got Spider-Man Miles here. We're getting a lot of 15s, which is really nice. Uh, I don't mind that. I don't use Kree Cyborg yet. I think I might later. Uh, more Spider-Man Miles. Okay. Now the really huge ones are the Red Star Orbs. So I'm excited to see what I get out of these because these can allow huge character boosts. Emma Frost is one of the best characters in the game, but I don't have her unlocked yet. So that's not like a bad opening, but... Oh, Iron Man! Okay, that's really good because he's one of my main characters. So I'm excited about that one. We're pretty hyped to get Iron Man another red star. That's a huge upgrade. All right, guys, that is going to be it for the first Marvel Strike Force video. Let me know what you want to see in the next one. Make sure to use the download link below too. I'll catch you all later. Peace.